it is sometimes difficult for people who are able differently to seek services in some organizations simply because of language barrier. However, Rachel Farago has been able to sort this by learning how to sign by herself. My name is Rachel uh, Farago. Her interest in signing was sparked after she was unable to help a student with hearing impairment who had come in to learn ministry work at the church she served. We had registered to attend the school, but she is deaf, so she can't hear. So when she came, I was not in a position to talk to her, and that time I was at the registration desk. So I don't know how to tell her, eh, this is where you can find this, or if you want to go to the toilet, or you want to eat, or you want to do something. I had no way to be able to tell her that. So, and now I was wondering, if she has come from the School of Ministry, how is she going to hear? Uh, how is she going to say to people? How is she going to communicate? There's no way to do that. And I felt like I'm at a place where I am unable to help, and I can't be able to interpret to her, and now I can't even know her name. So one of the ladies in our church was a sign language interpreter. She's called Maureen. So I called her and she was able to communicate with her and she was able to see and talk and have a conversation. I just looked at them and I was really mesmerized at how they are able to actually communicate in a language where no one else is understanding. So one, I experienced a, I experienced a communication block at that point. But as much as I was mesmerized by how they were communicating, like any other human, I forgot. After that incident, exactly an year later, she joined Safaricom. Here, she got a day's training on how to sign. So I first went to Nyeri, then I came to Nakuru. When I came to Nakuru, that now that was the first time to interact with a deaf person. His name is Martin. Hi, Martin. So, interesting enough, it was a coincidence that Martin was called to my desk that day when he came. Do I remember anything about sign language? Small, small. Alphabet I was remembering. So the much I could be able to do is to finger spell. I couldn't sign any word. So, but Martin was very patient, like very, very patient with me. So when he came, the only thing I could say was, Hi, how can I help you? And so he spoke to me in a manner to think that I understood every sign language, but I didn't. It's just the basic. So I told him, I can't remember much, but I can finger spell. So I could finger spell, and then Martin would sign the word. After her encounter with Martin, she was able to meet other friends who could sign, and she learned a lot from them. So I was able to help Martin. And now he told me about his school at KFA. So he told me, you can come visit. So I went to Martin's school, and now I met a few different friends in Horizon. So they were they are the ones who taught me. I learned from them how to sign. And um, the fact that now my community here at work, in terms of my colleagues, now the minute they knew that I knew how to sign, any deaf customer who came to this shop, they were directed to my desk for me to help. So that's how my journey has been for learning sign language. It's been interesting. It's a very personal language. And I feel like as a nation, if we can be able to include everyone, I believe very soon we can be a, a nation where deaf people can sign anywhere. Yes. So let's Purity Kinuthia from Tawango.